I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. Imagine a world <coughs> far off in the future. Okay. Everything in this world is made from cubes. What? Made from cubes? Yeah, everything. Even food? Even food is made from cubes. <laughs> what else could be made from cubes? Uh, no. Trees? The trees are made from cubes. People? They could be, yes, they could be. Sure, this is an imaginary world. People are made of cubes. Alicia? Flowers. Flowers? Grass. Grass? Volcanoes. Volcanoes? <laughs> Even the lava that comes out will come out in cubes. Houses, buildings, everything is made of cubes. We are visiting this future world, okay? We're visiting this future world and this is what it looks like. These are some of the buildings in this future world. Okay? They look funny, don't they? Yeah. They're not like the buildings we have here. Right? Okay. I know which one looks one. I'd like you all to meet George. George? <laughs> this is George. Okay. George lives in this future world. Everybody in this future world is happy. They're living their lives. They go to school. They eat apples. They dance. They skip. They play. They go to work. Every day, George goes to work. And when he is going to work, he walks past all these buildings. Well, on one of these buildings, there is a button. A red button. And he walks past it every day. Nobody ever touches this button. Well, just like Curious George the monkey, one day George's curiosity gets the best of him. Presses the button. He presses the button and immediately the ground starts to shake and all the buildings start to rumble and everything turns upside down. Oh! But they don't fall over. <laughs> Everything is upside down. You oh did? my gosh. Now, George feels really, he's really upset about this. What would happen if our world was upside down? Oh. Think about it for a second, okay? I just want you to think about that for a minute. What would Thorncliff Park look like? What would Toronto look like if we were upside down? Everything except for the people is upside down. Can you imagine that? Try and visualize it right now in your brain. <laughs> Try and describe it to me. Anika? Uh, the sky would be on the ground. The sky is on the ground. Then where are you walking? So you'll be walking on the sky? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you fly away. You fly away. <laughs> like the and, the, and the rain will be bugs. Sorry? And the rain will be bugs. The rain will be bugs. Ew. What else would be upside down? The climbers. The climbers would be upside down. We're very lucky though because guess what? George is a builder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a builder. So he is determined to make this right. He is going to rebuild every single one of these buildings. Oh, yeah. That's a lot for one little George, right? Gonna build. Mm -hmm. Are you going to help him, Samir? Yeah. Me too. Thank you. Me too. Oh my gosh, what a nice group of students we have. Who would like to try and give us instructions on how to build this tower right side up? First, we need a black cube. Then we need two green cubes. And put them together. And then we take two blue cubes. Is it the same? Yes. yes. Look at that. Black on the bottom, two greens, and two blues. If you would like to check your shape, you can bring it over and have a look. A lot of buildings are coming. So which one should we be flipping? This one? The original one. Okay, can you flip it for me, please? Okay, now, if you'd like to check, come and place your towers <coughs> alongside and see if they are made right side up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, George says thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We have two buildings made, and there are two more buildings he left to make. He didn't even help us. He didn't even help us. <laughs>